step ladder carry bag right here. Got your logo for the step ladders right here. So you'll never forget the loop. It's not a knot, it's just a simple loop. So if you follow this diagram, you'll never forget. So when I come up to a tree, we found our tree where we're gonna set the steps in. Basically just start by opening the bag. You're gonna uncoil your ropes. I like to bring the ropes up. So push them up towards the top of the bag. Keeping your ropes nice and neat is a good trick for staying organized when you're in the tree. And then zip it back up. Take your ropes, put them back over. And then put the zipper side out. You're gonna go over your shoulder. You got my linesman belt ready to go. Put on my neck. And then literally ready to go. Unzip the bag a little bit. Pull one step out. I'll show you guys the loop. Alright. You're gonna start by putting the rope on the outside of the standoff underneath. If you put it over like this, your cam won't work. So you're gonna go under the standoff, just like that. Okay? Take your rope in one hand, go around the tree. You're gonna start like this. Put your stand put your rung right against the tree with the standoffs right here against the tree and the rung. You're gonna go under, take it, go back through. So you've created a little loop, and then back through the loop. Cinch it up to the tree tight. You're going to bring your standoffs, these two points, so that you're above the parallel rope going around. If you put it down like this, it's not going to cam down. So you bring the step up and lock it in just like that. When you're ready to take the step off the tree, grab the bottom of the pick down here, push up, and you're going to slide the rope right out. So we'll run through that one more time. I like to put the rope in one hand, just like that, with the wrong. Go around the tree, go through the triangle, take your the end of the rope, back through behind the bar, up, and under. Hold it up, and snap it down. So then I'll put a couple up before I get into the tree. And then spacing them apart, like I've always said, it's up to the climber. You could put them three feet apart if you want to pull yourself up. You could put them one foot apart. As You can put them as close as you want for comfort level. I like to put them a little farther apart, but in a big tree like this, we're, all, we're going to want to be comfortable. We're going pretty high. So I'm only going to put them you know, two feet apart. And then when I start climbing, when my feet are here, I always know how far to put them because I'll put the next step level with my knee when it's bent. So if my first step's here, my next step is going to be at my knee. So I did that. It's a little loose. So we're going to want to tighten it up a little bit. Bring it up. And I'm going to want to go with the curve of the tree. So I want to slide this one over. Once you start going up, you'll notice. You'll kind of see the characteristics of the tree. Where you want to be going up. So there's my first two. Now I'm going to get up in the tree. Put my belt around. 